Okay, I've got old violin 398. This is another old Germanic violin from probably, I would say this one's around 1910 or so. Um, has characteristics of an old French violin. Um, one piece back. However, I believe that this is an old German violin, uh, potentially from Dresden, from around 1900 to 1910. This one, I... Uh, it's just how it, it was when I got it. It sounds good. It's got a nice, resonant, clean tone. I believe that this would be a great violin for an old-time player. It's got a very clean and clear tone, uh, not overly dark, uh, but it projects well and it plays nice. It has medium, low action, helicor strings. Uh, I'm going to be selling this violin pretty cheap, actually. Um, it could use some, I mean, if I really wanted to make it perfect, I would have to do some work on the finish, but I'm leaving it as it is because for some people that doesn't matter. The back, it's got the original varnish, but it has some clouding areas where potentially someone tried to clean it and, and it has a few spots on it. Doesn't bother me at all, but some people that are sticklers, this would not be a good violin for them. However... The top, you know, is nice. The back is fine. It just has those spots. So I'm going to be selling it reasonable. So if you want a good sound, an old fiddle, and that kind of stuff doesn't bother you, then this will be a good one. Number 398. I think it sounds good. It's got a nice old sound that plays good. Excellent old time fiddle. So there you go, 398. If you want to try this fiddle out or inquire about it, let me know. RoyceBert at Comcast.net. Thank you.